Hello everyone. I'm going to take an opportunity to go through RStudio. Um, I know I've given you a couple of videos on RStudio, but what I want to do is go through RStudio a little bit more, um, and I want to actually show you uh, what I want you to do this week. Um, there's exercises listed this week, and there's two parts to that exercise. The first part is just to run some simple R commands, and that's the part that I do want you to complete. The second part was to go out and get the file from the Foreman website, the Wiley website for the Foreman textbook, um, the k-means clustering file and run through that process. I'm going to have you drop that. Um, I think that that is beyond the scope of what I want to accomplish this week. So let's instead focus on running the R commands in RStudio. What I have up right now is the RStudio and I am going to go through the quadrants. There are four quadrants. I'm going to go through them a little bit. You may have seen this already in another video, but just bear with me while I go through them. Um, the quadrant in the upper left hand corner, this quadrant here is where you would go ahead and run or write your scripts. So it's really an editor. It's an opportunity for you to go ahead and put in your commands. Um, your commands could be things like to access a file, do statistical processing on a file, and then produce the results. But it's not actually going to run anything until you tell it to run. So you can write all kinds of commands here as a file, and then when you decide you're ready to run it, you could come up here and invoke these commands up here to actually run your commands. And you can run them one by one, or you can run them all at the same time. So this is really your editor, and this is where you'll use your editor um, to create your scripts. Down below is an opportunity for you to be able to import data sets, and you'll see it right there, import data set. You can go ahead and bring in data files, either from CSV or from Excel. Um, you can bring them in, and I've got an old one sitting here called activity underscore winter. It is of a certain type. It has 15 columns and it has 449 objects. Um, so it is uh, just gives you some basic information about it. And you'll see that information come up when you load the data file. We're not going to worry about the data file loading today um, because we're not going to load any data files, but this will become relevant for us in the future. Um, in the upper right hand column or right quadrant, um, you're going to see actually what we are going to use today, and that is the interpreter. This is the command line interpreter. So when you type in command lines, you will see what the results of those command lines or those commands are um, as soon as you type them in. And let me give you an example. Maybe I've got to get my right screen. T, T. It'll complete the command for me, and then I can run it and it gives me the result. It's throwing an error this time because I didn't tell it what to print, but if I had told it what to print, then it would print what I wanted immediately for me, and I wouldn't have to wait to actually run the command. So this is where we're going to run the commands that I've given you for this particular exercise. Down below is where you will see the results of your commands, and sometimes those will be things like histograms or other charts or scatter plots and, and those kinds of things, and you can then take those results and you can export those to either as an image or as a PDF or something. So when you're actually doing the statistical processing, either from the script or from the command line, and you get your results, you can actually use your results somewhere else. What I want you to do this week is in the third quadrant, in the upper right-hand quadrant, and I want you to go to our class. And when you go to our class, I have to log in. There's a section in the third module called Setting Up for R. And what that is is a list of the commands that I want you to actually go into R Studio and invoke. So as soon as things come up here, there I can go to the right class, and then go to Modules. And in Module 3, I have a section called Setting Up for R. Go ahead and open that up. You'll see that I gave you a, yet another video to get familiar with R Studio, but beyond that are a series of commands, and my instructions are there, and the commands are there. And what I want you to be able to do is just go in and run each one of these commands. So, for example, the first one is print hello world. Now, theoretically, you can cut and paste, um, but I would like you to type them in because I think there's a good bit to be learned from typing in commands. You learn a little bit about the ultra uber sensitivity of R and how you have to type in commands just right. So let's go ahead and try that first one. Open paren, open quote. Everything's closed out. 
hit return, it interprets the result and it immediately gives me my results. So that's what I want you to do for each one of those commands that I've listed here in this section. Once you've got that done and you get a feel for there's a function, there's some mathematical stuff that you need to do, um, then what I'll have you do is you get to the last command, go back to our studio, and when you're on the screen, so click on the screen, click on the interpreter section on the screen, go ahead and do it Alt, hold down your Alt key and hit print screen. Do Alt print screen and it will capture your screen. Now theoretically, hoping this works, you can then open a new document and hit Control V and it should paste in your screen. That's what I want you to give me. Show me in this upper right hand quadrant what you've done. Now of course it's tiny and it's hard for me to see but I can always expand it so that I can see what you've done um, and I'll be able to see the commands that you typed in. That is your assignment for this week. That is the exercise I want you to submit. So hopefully that will be very clear and you'll be able to get that all done.